Why, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. So, we're doing more games by the horrific developer. Uh, he requested these, and I'm doing them as a request because I have nothing else going on. Uh, currently, it's Sunday at the time of recording this, the day it's supposed to be uploaded. So, this is Horrific Hallway 2. And he made a Horrific Hallway already, which I've played and beaten. It was short, it was sweet. I'm hoping this one has more to it. Because if it's pretty much the exact same thing as the other one, I'm gonna be a little sad because I'm hoping for new things. And I'm also hoping that if I were to fail in this game, there's the option to come back to the main menu here. Because if not, I'm not going to be replaying these games because that was really annoying. Anyway, oh, we have difficulties here. So we have slightly horrific and very horrific. Um, start off with slightly horrific. Alright, it is quite different. That's nice. Can we jump on these? We can. So we can jump in this. We can run. There's walls to move around. It's a bit of an improvement, honestly. It's actually quite lovely compared to the last one. Alright. There's just giant red balls that are blocking the, the way there. Okay, so... Oh, we run very fast. That is really fast. Boom. Bing. What the hell? What is this? Gamers Nation. I think that's what that says. And then... It's just a picture of, uh... The guy's face. Is that supposed to be the horrific gamer? Because if so, cool, dude. Ah, jump over it. Jesus, James. What are you doing? So, so far, nothing really scary has happened. I hear something, though. So, unfortunately, it is a tad bit repetitive. What the hell? I think we're getting somewhere. I don't know for sure, though. Is it just an infinite hallway? Now there's just nothing here. I. It feels like it's legitimately just an empty hallway at this point. It is quite long, because I am running very fast. The speed of, uh... Running in this game is quite speedy. It's like I'm trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. I feel like if it stays up like this, though, it's going to get quite boring. And uh, if it is boring, that's no bueno. We don't want boring. How long is this hallway? Horrific developer, if you did this for shits and giggles, I hope you think it's funny, because this is ridiculously long, man. It's... It's getting a tad bit too repetitive now. There's nothing else here. 
Um, what the fuck? Um, I, I don't think it's gonna change. Something tells me it's going to be like this until I make changes, unfortunately. I've been running, I've been running. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a no-no. Um. Alright, hold on. Alright, I rebooted the game. The only time I'm doing this, because I feel like it was just way too long for slightly easy difficulty. Um. That was really repetitive at the end. That was not good. Not a good look for this, but everything else, uh, leading up to that was certainly an improvement. Uh, we got very horrific now. We're gonna try that. Okay, now it's dark and spooky. Oh, these balls actually look a lot better now. Whoa. Okay. So we did die. We gotta be quick. Even I can't keep up with my own speed. Oh, this is... Yeah, no way, man. I'm, I'm, I'm literally Sonic the fucking Hedgehog right now. I'm so fast. supposed to be doing in this. Okay. not see that in the back. What the fuck? Holy shit. Alright, so there is something that chases us. I didn't know that we were being chased. I just thought it was completely random. Yeah, during daytime, you have uh, pretty much unlimited time on very easy difficulty. It is quite nice. On this one, you gotta be up to par. You gotta be quick. You gotta get out. Now, I'm gonna obviously have to skip over these two, uh, things here, which I want to inspect them, but clearly time isn't on our side for that. So, you know, that sucks, but hey, it is what it is. I don't think we can go very far. I don't, I don't think the game will allow it. I'm gonna try one last time, though. Cause, uh... I think that's one thing the horrific developer needs to work on. Is his difficulty balancing for some of his games. Like, I get it's not supposed to be easy. And by all means, that's respectable. But, like... On some of his difficulties and shit like that, it is ridiculous, man. Like that, it's ridiculous, it's over. Yeah, we're done. Anyway, moving on to the next game. So, this is, um, Horrific Mall Hardened Edition. Now, I don't know why he sent me this one, because there is a easy version of the horrific market like a basic version that came out before any other versions so i don't know why he sent me this one but we're gonna try it what the fuck all right enter the horrific market the 
fuck? They don't even look like people. They look like robots. Alright, uh, fine. And turn on the electric switch. Where is that? It's very bright out. I don't expect this. From, like, um, a game like this. Because I know I've played the original Horrific Mall. Collect all of the items from the shelves. Why am I doing that? What the fuck? Um. Okay, so it's not working. Hold on. Uh, once again, had to restart the game because it was not working. Um, I guess another thing about this, um, that I'm definitely going to mention again is, horrific developer, you gotta work on balancing your games better. That is very unfair. That was not fair at all. Like, that was BS. Alright. You see, that that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. This is the final attempt I'm going to put into this. I feel like later on down the line when he wants me to play the original, it won't be so bad. But as of right now, oh, it's bad. It's very bad. I do not like this at all. Uh, the difficulty is so unbalanced, it's bad. It ruins the game. Like, this one is a major L, horrific developer. I am sorry. But I'm just being honest with you. I do not like this one at all. The balancing is terrible. And I get it. Hard in addition. Like, you increase the difficulty tenfold, but... It's not even beat... See? That is... I didn't... Nope. I'm done. I'm done. That is ridiculous. That is not good. And yes, obviously, if I wanted to put into the time and I wanted to try my hardest, I'm sure I could beat it. But there's no way with how I felt lately that I'm going to put myself through that. So I think the horrific developer, he has good things about his games, but sometimes he just creates some floppy moments. Like in the last video I made that had a few of his games... Uh, not being able to go back to the main menu. That was a huge flaw that I absolutely despised. I think that was terrible. It was an absolutely terrible thing, but the whole entire game of that was awesome. A lot of his games are quite short, but they're quite simple. You get to the point and they're not that bad. But, uh, Horrific Hallway 2 wasn't bad. It was just, you kinda can't really get to the end. It feels like an infinite hallway. Like it's a very long hallway. And it gets very repetitive, which isn't good for keeping viewership on videos. Because that's like staring at a brick wall for who knows how long. And this, this is just so unbalanced. It is not good. Like, this is the one time I am not happy playing a game that I was requested to play. This is, this is no. This is no. This here... This Horrific Mall Hardened Edition, maybe the original Horrific Mall, from what I remember, because I played it, it's not bad. It's actually quite cool, because you get to do the objectives, and it's quite nice. This? No. This is terrible. This difficulty buff? No bueno. Not good. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I will never be touching this again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to try out the Horrific Developers games, uh, it'll be linked in the description every time I normally play his games. And yeah, that's all I gotta say, so yeah.